some things. Now, the word that is translated scheme or some versions, devices, only means thought or mind or planning or purpose. So we are not ignorant of the thinking of the enemy or the mind of the enemy or the thoughts of the enemy. Do you get it? Or the plans he has put there against the people of God. Thoughts, mind, purpose, or plans. That's what we are talking about. So that's what we are talking about, the mentality. How is his mind positioned? What influences his mind? What makes him behave the way he behaves? Do you get it? Are you following? Yeah. So, that one is noima, or the mind. Then, another word that we should know about is methodia, or method. That one is found in Ephesians chapter 6. The verse number 11. Can somebody read for us? Ephesians chapter 6, the verse number 11. Yes, the verse number 11. Put on all the armor of God mm. so that you will be able to stand up against the devil's evil strikes. Evil what? Evil strikes. Tricks. So, he said, I put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand up against the devil's evil what? tricks. You see? So, the word is methodia, which, if you look at the word very well, it talks about method. It's a method or an approach to something. Okay? And what is his approach? Trickery. But the word means premeditation that is expressed as a trick or deceit or craftiness. Premeditation that is expressed as a trick. Okay. All that the, the premeditation arts, even the approach. You see. <laughs> there are some things we say art and science. Have you heard something like that before? Recently I was studying something, I've forgotten what I was studying. I've forgotten it. But there are a lot of things that are both art and science. Do you get it? The science is a methodology of the principles. You see, uh -huh. and the art, you know, it means that it can be adjusted. You know, uh, there, are, there are dimensions to the way they are expressed and all of that. I think you understand. Mm -hmm. You see, I think when I was teaching guys about hermeneutics, I spoke about how that is an art and those were science. So the science deals with the principle. The art is the way, you know, you see. So the devil has principles and then he has a way he expresses them. Uh -huh. But at the end, it's a trick. Or at the end, it's, it's, it's a trickery or a craftiness or a deceit. Something to deceive us. Hallelujah. Praise God. Are we following? So, the device of the enemy are his thoughts, his plans, his premeditations that are against the uh, believer. Now, it doesn't mean that this is the only way he operates. When you read some other portions of Scripture, even in Ephesians 6, we, we find what we call the fiery duct. You see, so there's also that dimension. But basically, or predominantly, 
this is the way you operate because it tries to ensnare the believer because his, his ability to you know let me say take advantage of our ass is connected to our losing God so the Bible says that don't give any foothold to the enemy have you seen are we together don't give the enemy what foothold don't give him space don't give him the opportunity to find expression 